Hi there guys, my name is Arion and you can learn, make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can edit a beauty portrait step by step using my action. So without any further ado, let's get started. And here we are, as you can see this portrait needs to be clean. So for cleaning we are going to use three different tools. One of them is spot healing brush tool, healing brush tool and patch tool. So I'm gonna start with spot healing brush tool. But before I start cleaning this portrait, make sure to check all the links down below in the description because I have put it the raw file and the retouching action. So if you wanna get this raw file that I'm retouching right now, you have to join my telegram channel and download the file. So I'm gonna click clean and click play. So we do that, as you can see we have clean and the black and white layer. So I'm gonna turn off the black and white layer now and I will choose spot healing brush tool and I will zoom in here in the forehead where I want to start cleaning. I will make the brush and I will start cleaning. As I said, I am using three different tools and I made them with, with shortcuts, sorry, with J, K and L. So I can switch between these three different tools uh, faster. I, I just click L and I choose the patch tool. As you can see, I will speed up this process. And here we are after some general clean, as you can see a before and after, let me zoom in, uh, just some little details, we still have some many things to clean, but I'm gonna leave this stuff uh, for when I use frequency separation and I will use clone stamp tool to clean in a professional way. So for the moment, I'm just gonna create a selection with a pen tool around the, for uh, sorry, around the head, clean that messy here. So I'm just gonna start making the selection. And now that I'm done uh, with the creating the selection, I'm just gonna create, uh, sorry, click here, make selection. So for the right radius on this one, I'm gonna go by four maybe, click okay. And I will choose mixer brush tool and wet by 100 and flow by 100. And I will clean the hair around the, around the head, sorry. And I think that is looking okay. Or you can just copy the color that is here in the background or in the backdrop and just paint it like this. But uh, I prefer to use a mixer brush because sometimes we have a different tones here. So this is the main reason why I use mixer brush at this point. Uh, for example, I copy color that is here and I just paint it like this. Now you can check a before and after. You can zoom out and check a before and after. I think that is looking okay. I'm gonna leave this here because I think it's looking good. Now I will click here on Frequency Separation Plus, click play. And for the right radius uh, of the Guardian Blur that is here, you need to slide this to 0.1 and zoom in in the forehead maybe or where you have some harsh texture or the pores a portrait and slide this to the right and i think that i will go with the eight maybe click ok now open the frequency uh sorry frequency separation group and we have to work in the low frequency first that is color and high frequency later that is texture so i'm gonna start in the low frequency i will zoom in here i will choose the mixer brush but now for the settings of mixer brush you have to be careful because you don't want uh, with 100%, so I'm gonna go by 10 in wet and sorry, in load by 45 and mix 45 and flow by 33. And I will start mixing the skin tones in the forehead just like this. You can turn on the black and white layer to see the details better, as you can see it before and after. I think it's looking okay at the moment. Uh, be careful when you have portraits with the freckles. You don't wanna remove them or destroy the color with the mixer brush.
and I think that I'm getting cold, so I'm just gonna cover my arms. By the way, I'm using Wacom Tools Pro S. Uh, the mouse I just used for some clicks here and there. Uh, if you wanna get uh, like professionally into retouching, you need to get a pen tablet at least. I would highly recommend you get go get a Wacom Intuos Pro, maybe M, S, L. It depends on your budget. So I'm using Wacom Intuos Pro S, and it has been really helpful since I got or since I switched from mouse into the pen tablet. My workflow got faster, and I am very happy. Now check it before and after. I think it's starting to look good. Now I will just zoom in and work just a little more. You can, uh, as I said before, turn on the black and white layer and you can see some details because sometimes uh, some monitors aren't that good. For example, in some midtones maybe, you can see them with the colors. So when you turn on the black and white help layer, it will help you to see them Now check up before and after and I think that is looking okay now check up before and after of the entire process you have to do this like often because if you want to see the before and after uh, what you have done you have to zoom out first and check up before and after uh, this is the a great thing when you are touching because when you zoom out you will see all the details that are in portrait so do that more often because if you work like only the zoom zoom in like i am right now you will uh, make some mistakes and will create something bad into your portrait so in this channel uh, you're not here to learn bad retouching uh, sorry because this is like going too fast now i am on high frequency or in the texture so to clean in the high frequency or in the texture you have to click on clone stamp tool and clone stamp tool works this way you have to hold alt keyboard to copy that texture that is here and paste it here just like this but be careful you don't want to do this if you copy the texture here and paste it here it'll create some bad in texture so be careful to copy paste as near as possible as i said before uh, i didn't clean the entire portrait because i i wanted to leave it for the frequency separation because this is the best way to clean And here you are before and after what you've done in the frequency separation group. I think that is looking okay. Now that I am done with frequency separation, I'm gonna click on dodge, click play, and click on burn, click play. I will turn on the black one a player, sorry, and with a white brush and 10% of city, I'm just gonna paint it uh, where I want to dodge. For example, I want to dodge in the forehead, just a little around the eyes just a little on the cheeks the sides on the chin just a little on the nose maybe create a line here now check up before and after i think it's looking okay now we need to touch just a little more into the neck now check up before and after and open a group and click on desaturated layer and reduce this on 20%. Now check a before and after again. I'm gonna zoom in into the eyes and make them pop. Just a little like this. 
and do that same thing on the other one now zoom out and i think that is looking okay now i'm gonna click on burn and with a white brush and 10 percent opacity i'm just gonna burn the cheeks just a little just a little sorry i'm gonna burn the forehead i'm gonna burn the eyebrows just a little on the side of the nose under the lip and check a before and after i think it's okay but we need just a little more and i'm gonna zoom in here on the eyelashes i'm gonna increase the opacity of the brush and paint it like this now check a before and after i think it's okay do the same thing on the both of the eyelashes now check a before and after i think it's looking okay you have to check a before and after of the entire process but i'm gonna reduce the opacity of the burn just a little by 75 and check a before and after i think it's looking awesome now i'm gonna uh, create a duplicated background layer just like this by drag and dropping hold shift keyboard and click here merge uh sorry group the layers rename retouch and duplicate the retouch group right click merge group now click ctrl and a uh, to select all this window ctrl c to copy and go to file new and create another window of this window that is right now and paste it here merge this into one boom now click here on the smoky eyes click play i did this thing because uh, some actions doesn't work uh, very good when you have like too many layers so i went to another window i'm gonna go with the 100 percent brush and paint it on the eyelashes i'm gonna reduce it to 40 just like that do the same method on both of them now check it before and after I think it's way too dark so I'm gonna reduce it by 25 now check it before and after again okay I'll click on the smoky eyes and with a white uh, brush and 10% opacity I'm just gonna paint it around the eyes to make the makeup a little better now check it before and after and reduce it check it before and after again i think it's okay now click on the eyeshadows this one is for the uh, colors of the makeup so you can even take the red color maybe right sorry i was going to say green and you can just paint it from the eyes and you will change the makeup thing so basically you can do uh, anything with the colors here but i'm gonna delete it and i'm gonna stick with the color that is here maybe choose something into red not purple purple into red something like that something like this and paint it around the eyes to make this makeup look even better as i said before now check again and i'm gonna paint it a darker color right now on the sides just like this Do that same method on both of them now i'm gonna choose a darker one something like this and do the sides you can even go with a darker one maybe even black but i, I will stick with this kind of color but darker now check a before and after and uh, I think that 100% is way too much. So I'm gonna go by 25. Now check it before and after. I think it's okay. I'm gonna zoom in and copy another color that is here and go a little lighter. I think that this one is okay. And I'm gonna paint it here. Now check it before and after it's looking okay but reduce the opacity by 50 percent and zoom in i think that we have some missing colors here so i'm gonna 
copy the color that is here and paint it just like this i think we are overdoing it so always check a before and after check the other one now here's the before and after of this entire process i'm gonna make a group from the eyeshadows and group eyeshadows and check a before and after and i think that i'm gonna reduce it by 50 percent i'm gonna hold and click shift uh, click and hold shift keyboard like this and i'm gonna click on move tool and i'm gonna move all these layers into my original one i'm gonna merge all of them now i'm gonna click on white and tip click play and zoom in paint it on the tip this basically removes the kind of yellow color from the from the tip sorry i sometimes i speak slower my bad i apologize for this now check it before and after i'm gonna drag and drop this into the original window and check it before and after I think it's okay merge them again now click this as uh, lips and cheeks now click on the cheeks first with a white brush i'm just gonna paint it on the cheeks now check a before and after i think it's okay just like 35 maybe now click this as rosy lips and paint it entirely on the lips just like this you can check a before and after of this one and i think that is way too much i'm gonna go by 20. i think it's okay now again drag and drop this into the original one and merge now click that says uh, lip dodge and burn click play now as you can see it says uh, pick lips color dodge so i'm gonna pick the lip color that is kind of brighter and i'm gonna dodge these lips with the color of them now zoom out and check a before and after so 100 is kind of too much now click on pick lips color that says burn so i'm gonna go with a darker color and i think that this one is okay i'm gonna paint it where i want to burn Something like this now check a before and after and reduce the opacity of this one now check a before and after again i think it's okay sorry i'm gonna drag and drop this into the original window and put this on top because we have messed some things now merge again click on lips glow click play and paint it on the lips this action made them a little brighter now check a before and after i think it's okay but not it's okay because i have to reduce it by 50 percent because it was kind of too much and merge them again into the one and click on sharpen and basic contrast click play now as you can see the sharpen is the black mask i'm gonna switch into the white zoom in and i think that 100 is kind of too much so i'm gonna go by 50 percent and check out before and after now i think 
think it's okay. I'll click on the contrast and reduce it by 32 maybe. Both of them drag and drop into the original window. And I think that I'm gonna remove this. And here we are with the retouching and the makeup settings. I'm gonna put all of them into a group and rename retouch one as makeup and drag and drop here right click and merge the group as a single window because this is the best way or the easiest way to check a before and after and i think it is okay and now that we are done with the retouch it's time for some color grade so I'm going to click again Ctrl and A, Ctrl C to copy the window, go to new and create another window and paste it here, merge the layer into one and click here on the color grade light skin and I'm going to check them one by one until I find the best color grade. So I'm gonna stick with A6 and A7, so I'm gonna drag and drop this into the original window and delete this one, click on A7, click play and drag and drop this into the original window. Now I'm gonna open the A6 and I will check these settings one by one. Now here is a before and after with the A6. Now click on the A7. And I'm gonna reduce the opacity of this one by 25. And turn on the A6. Now check a before and after of this process with the color grades. And I think that is looking great. Now check a before. And here is the after. You can uh, zoom in and check the before and after so here's the before here's the after retouch here's the before and here's the after retouch and i think that is looking awesome so that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video tutorial please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because you will find the retouching actions and the raw files let me know if you learned something from this video tutorial and see you guys in the next one peace